हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आर टॉपिक इज क्रायोथेरेपी बिफोर बिगनिंग विद द टॉपिक इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट दिस बेल आइकन नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक क्रायोथेरेपी क्रायोथेरेपी द वर्ड क्रायो मीन्स आइस एंड थेरेपी मीन्स ट्रीटमेंट सो क्रायोथेरेपी इज़ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द कोल्ड टू द बॉडी टिश्यूज आफ्टर इंजुरी the ice can be applied to the body in various forms it can be normal ice or frozen gel packs or even in the form of fluids whenever we apply cold to the skin there will be change the temperature of the skin basically uh, the skin temperature is reduced to 10 degrees celsius physical principles when ice is applied to the skin heat is conducted from the skin to the ice in order to melt it this change in its state is known as latent heat of fusion latent heat of fusion is a specific amount of energy required to change the solid form of a particular substance into liquid or it can be liquid to gas this energy which is required to change one form of substance to another form is known as latent heat of fusion factors that affect the heat loss so temperature changes in the tissue will depend upon both the rate and amount of energy removed the colder the application the greater the heat loss from the tissue the water filled tissues such as muscle have a high thermal conductivity compared to that of fat or the skin thus the cooling of deeper tissue depend upon the nature of the overlying tissue the amount of energy loss is clearly dependent on length of time of cold application larger the area the more the heat energy is lost physiological effects of cold application so a uh, first thing here we see is circulatory response the initial skin reaction to the cooling is attempt to preserve heat it is accomplished by an in initial vasoconstriction so basically there is first vasoconstriction occurring then we have the vasodilation the vasoconstriction and vasodilation occurs in a form of sequence this alternating periods of constriction and dilation causes a reaction this reaction of hunting for a mean point of circulation is called as lewis hunting reaction during the vasodilation the arteriovenous anastomosis is closed and this causes the increase in the blood flow through the capillaries and this is how this circulatory response help us to reduce the swelling and the tissue damage this is the graph that shows the vasodilation and constriction so basically hunting response is a reflex increase in vasodilation that occurs in response to cold approximately 15 minutes into the treatment the initial vasoconstriction is often used to limit the extra vasations of the blood into the tissues following injuries such as sports injury the alternate periods of vasoconstriction and dilation affect the capillary blood flow and it is across the capillary membrane that tissue fluid can be removed from the area and returned into the systemic circulation increased circulation allows more nutrients and repair substances into the damage area this is how the cold application to the body helps to reduce the swelling and improve the tissue damage thus ice therapy is very important and useful in removing swelling and ice cube massage may be used to accelerate the rate of repair next is next physiological effect is our metabolic rate the principal effect of cooling leaving tissue will be to reduce its metabolic rate in accordance to van's hoff law it states that the rate of any chemical action that can be affected is increased or decreased by a temperature the temperature can be raised or temperature can be reduced this is our van's hoff law the actual change is about 18 for each 1 cent 1 degree celsius now let's talk about the indications of cryotherapy there are indications and contraindications when we use cryotherapy so indications are nothing but in which all conditions or in which all things we can use cryotherapy for 
वी कैन यूज़ इट फॉर अक्यूट पेन क्रॉनिक पेन अक्यूट स्वेलिंग माओफेशल ट्रिगर पॉइंट्स मसल गार्डिंग मसल स्पैजम अक्यूट मसल स्ट्रेन अक्यूट लिगमेंट स्प्रेन अक्यूट कॉन्ट्यूशन बर्साइटिस टाइनोसाइनोवाइटिस एंड डिलेड ऑनसेट मसल सोरनेस दीज आर ऑल द थिंग्स फॉर विच वी कैन यूज क्रायोथेरेपी नाउ लेट्स सी अबाउट द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशंस इन विच वी आर नॉट using the cryotherapy first is impaired circulation impaired circulation for example rhinoids phenomena then peripheral vascular disease hypersensitivity to the cold skin anesthesia now we are not using cold when there is skin anesthesia because when there is no sensation in the skin and you are continuously applying the cold on the part it can cause various damage to the skin it can cause cold burns to the skin next is open wounds and other skin conditions and infections now let's talk about the most important part of cryotherapy methods of application of ice basically cryotherapy can be usually asked for 5 marks in the paper um and the methods of application is one of the most repeated questions so methods of application of ice uh the ice can be applied in the various forms it can be given in the form of uh, like cubes can be rolled in towel or various types let's see what are the types uh it can be applied in the following ways ice towels ice packs immersion ice cube massage cold compression units ice spray contrast bath now let's see what is all e one of these in depth okay Uh, first of all the time of application uh, is usually the duration will be between 5 to 20 minutes and after 12 to 15 minutes the hunting response is sometimes demonstrated with intense cold uh, usually where we give the ice therapy between 5 to 20 minutes okay first thing ice packs they are simple cold packs they can be silica gel packs uh never ever place the ice packs directly on the skin it can cause frost bite if it is left on the skin for a very long time so we usually uh, use a towel roll we place the towel around the ice pack and we place then on the skin um the time is usually between 20 minutes next is ice towel uh, for when we are using ice towel we wet the towel then ice towel need to be replaced after 2 to 3 minutes and the total time will be 20 minutes uh it is useful in treating muscles and allows movement to perform next is immersion it is very simple uh we take a tub or a container containing uh, completely ice cubes filled with ice cubes and we immerse the part it can be upper limb or lower limb or anything and uh, cold water immersion is uh, ideally used following a heavy weight sessions between training sessions or uh, after muscle injury resulting in soreness or uh, bursitis example 1 minute we keep to relax as much as possible then 2 minutes out of the water and then repeat 5 times next is ice cube massage this we usually use in our daily home life also here this there will be use of the ice cube which will be moved in the circular motion around the area uh, the time duration will be usually between 5 to 10 minutes mm, and uh, here uh, one point to note is uh, the patient will feel cold then burning sensation then aching sensation and then the area becomes numb so first is feel of cold burning aching and then the area becomes numb cold compression unit cold water is circulated in a sleeve which is put over the limb and part of it is uh, inflamed at intervals cold or ice sprays okay so uh, ethyl chloride was uh, originally used um and currently we use now uh flory methane um as it is non inflammable the liquid is sprayed on the area to be cooled in series of stroke of about 5 second each with a few seconds interval between each the nozzle is held at angle of 45 degree 
or at 90 degree uh, from the skin surface cryotherapy in sports so uh, there are two things we need to remember here cryotherapy in sports uh, we have two types cryokinetics and cryo stretch so cryo is ice and uh, kinetics is active exercise so uh, and cryo again is ice and stretch is usual stretch so here in cryokinetics we are combining the application of cold and the active exercise together to reduce the pain or the swelling so why do we use cryokinetics cold decreases the pain which facilitates active exercise and exercise will reduce swelling which will promote healing and return to the function disadvantages of cryokinetics are uh, there will be pain in the initial sessions and application of cold can be messy now uh, indications of cryokinetics are sprains like ankle sprains and it can be used for strength training contraindications of cryokinetics uh, any exercise or activity that causes pain and also use of the eyes on the patient who have hypersensitive skin precautions which can be taken using the cryokinetics is uh, do not allow the patient to limb and uh, they will be pain they will be increase in the pain for uh, initial 4 to 8 hours after the treatment now uh, they we can combine cryo stretch and cryokinetics um, begin and end with the stretch first of all then begin cryokinetics exercise with manually resisted muscle contractions uh, through a full range of motion use drap ray technique for uh, further progression dangers of cryotherapy um, usually we see a uh, frost bite which is most common and uh, there can be also nerve palsy uh, by this we come to an end of the topic cryotherapy hope you guys uh, understood uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and comment and like the video thank you so much